Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today's session is in continuation with the transmission control protocol. In today's session, I shall be explaining you a numerical on transmission control protocol header format. So how that particular question will be framed and in what way you need to proceed in order to arrive at the solution. So let us look at the question. The question says that following is a dump of TCP header. Following is a dump of TCP header in hexadecimal format. What is given? They have given here some numbers and it is not the end. It is like in up till here, there are numbers given in hexadecimal format. So these are the values in the TCP header format. Now I have just shown the TCP header here for each of these fields. Those are the values that are given in the problem statement. And they have asked you to find out what is the source port number, what is the destination port number, what is the sequence number, what is the acknowledgement number, what is the length of the header here, okay, length of the header, what is the type of the segment and what is the window size. So these many things you need to answer. Very simple, if you remember the number of bits that are meant for each of these field in the TCP, then you will be able to arrive at the solution within no minutes. Look here, start uh, analyzing the given uh, numbers in this manner. First, see, first and foremost thing is it is given in the hexadecimal format. So each of this number is what, how many bits? 4 bits. Each of this number is 4 bits. The first one, okay, here in the field starts with the source port address, which is 16 bits. If it is 16 bits, so if each number is representing how many 4 bits, then this is what, this is completely your source port address. So very simple, 16 bits. So here you are telling, okay, E293. This is in hexadecimal. Now to arrive at the port number, convert this hexadecimal number to decimal number. So when you convert, you are getting 58003. So the answer is what? The source port number is 58003. Next one is you need to find out the destination port number. So destination port number is destination port address. Once you cross the 16 bits up till here, so these were 16 bits, no, you have completed. The next in the path is what? 16 bits. So this one you are going to underline here just for clarity I am underlining. The next 16 bits, so one number indicates 4 bits, 4, 8, 12, 16. 0, 0, 1, 7 is actually indicating what the destination port address. So you simply write here 0, 0, 1, 7, but it is given in hexadecimal. So convert this into decimal, When once you convert this into decimal, you will get a value as 23. You can write down here, the destination port number is 23. Third part is, they have asked what is the sequence number, sequence number is 32 bits. That means 8 numbers are, the next 8 numbers indicates the sequence number, this completely 8 numbers. It is how much? 0000001. Okay, 0000001. The dec uh, decimal value is 1. Very simple, you can write down the sequence number is 1 in this case. Next one is, what is the acknowledgement number? So now you have completed up till here, no? So this is what source port address, destination port address, sequence number. After that, if you see, the next field is acknowledgement number. So these numbers are related to the acknowledgement field. They have given what values in the question? All zeros, all 32 bits are 0, 0. So, what is the acknowledgement number here? It is 0 in the decimal also. Now, next one is they have asked you to find out the length of the header. Header length is how much here? 4 bits, isn't it? So, but look here, what is that you have given? Now, this you have to be very careful. First, let me split here the number. See, 5002. Now, each number is indicating 4 bits. I will just split the values here in binary. That means I will convert this into binary. So, this one is what? 0, 1, 0, 1. Next is 0, 0. Next is 0, 0, 0. Fine, this one. Next is what? 2, 0, uh, 0, 1, 0. Okay, if I convert. Why I am converting this into binary is because the next field you have to carefully see even 1, 1 bit. Because you can see here the next field is all about flags. Flags where fields are what only storing one bit of information. That is the reason to get the complete details. I have given values I have written in binary. So header length is what 4 bits. Header length is 4 bits here. The value in the decimal 
okay anyway this one number indicates what four bits only no so you can easily write down length of the header is five but since it is measured in terms of four byte words you will multiply by four and you can write down 20 bytes the header length is how much 20 bytes next they are asking you the type of the segment now the type of the segment actually means whether out of this eight okay eight different flags whether the segment is related to syn or is it related to rst or it can be related to more than one also it's not that only one particular type of segment but here with the given values can you determine the type of the segment is the question so type of the segment when you split here you would look into this reserved is what six bits so what you can do is this six bits no need to include only in finding out any of the field value because this you are not at all considering 6 bits after that you have another how many 6 bits so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is this 6 bits are there now in between that means this number 0 0 0 0 becomes what one number there in the hexadecimal so if you look here now completely you make into this is one number this is another number third number and the fourth now fourth number is what 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 is the value there written as 2 if i have to indicate the values for each of this flag okay the type of the segment i can very easily write because i'll consider this six the last six bits this is urgent the next one is ack the third one is here push the next one is rst then you have syn then you have what fin so this is how you can identify each of the field values here even though if the field values are in bits you would simply convert that into binary because here you have to get even one bit of information so when i tried uh, writing this into binary what i have noticed is out of these six values here okay which are indicating the flag values only one flag value is set and that is the that one is corresponding to syn because you can see here no urg ack psh rst this one is what syn synchronized so you can write down the type of the segment is syn next is what is the next question it is asked as what is the window size window size is 16 bits and here you can see these are all 16 bits only 07 what is that 07 ff this is in hexadecimal so convert this into decimal when you convert this into decimal you will get the value as 2047 so the segment is indicating that the window size is how much 2047 bytes so very simple you can write down the solution in this manner so the first one you have got the answer now here it is what the source port number this is the destination port number this is the sequence number this is the acknowledgement number this is the length of the header this one syn is the type of the segment and the window size is 2047 so this is see in this particular example they have stopped at window size suppose if some more numbers are given like this and if they are asking you to find out the checksum margin pointer you can easily find out next 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 whatever it is but you should definitely remember what the number of bits that are meant for each of this field if you are thorough with the header format of this any numerical which that is a type of this kind if it is asked you can solve it and you can easily score normally this uh, type of question is uh, very easy to score also what uh, the previous question papers if you see suppose now they have asked you one two three four five six seven seven marks are meant for this particular question so hope it is clear to you all thank you bye bye take care